start by creating a Euromiter on the inside corner of the countertop. I'll select the dynamic seam button, select Euromiter, and click the inside corner of the counter. This creates the seam. Next, I'll change the lead-in value from 1.5 inches to 3 inches. To do this, I select the seam and adjust the parameter. We'll complete this area by making a seam in the backsplash. For the second seam, I'd like to create a 45 degree seam in the corner. I'll select dynamic seam, I'll select straight seam, I'll select bisect angle and pick the inside corner of the countertop. Unfortunately, this left a small tab. To fix this, I'll hold the control key down on the keyboard and drag the end of the seam into the center of the notch where it will snap to the midpoint. And that's Dynamic Scene.